In these examples, we're going to find data items for given z-scores. When finding data items for given z-scores, you want to remember that the z-score describes how many standard deviations above or below the mean your data item is. So in this example, we have scores on a test that are normally distributed with a mean of 75 and a standard deviation of 12. We want to find the score with a z-score of, and the first one is 4.6. So if we start to take a look at this, we remember that we're 4.6 standard deviations above the mean because it's a positive 4.6 that's named above. So if we think about the way that we can convert from our z-score to our data value, we're going to take our mean, mu, and we're going to add our z-score times our standard deviation, sigma. In this case, our mean is 75. Our z-score is 4.6, and our standard deviation is 12. So if we go ahead and do that math, we'll get 4.6 times 12 is 55.2. So 75 plus 55.2. So if we add 75 to that, we get 130. So the score that is 4.6 standard deviations above the mean is 130.2. The next one is negative 3.2. So we can use the same thing. We take the mean and add the product of the z-score and the standard deviation. That's 75 plus, in this case it's a negative 3.2, which means it's 3.2 standard deviations below the mean. And so we multiply that negative 3.2 times 12. So three, negative 3.2 times 12 gives us negative 38.4. So we have 75 minus 38.4. And that's going to give us 36.6. So the data value that is 3.2 standard deviations below the mean is 36.6. The next one asks us, for a z-score of 1.4. So again, it's the mean plus the z-score times the standard deviation. The mean is 75 plus 1.4 times the standard deviation of 12. 1.4 times 12 is 16.8. And then we add 75 to that, and so we get 91.8. So the data item or the test score that is 1.4 standard deviations above the mean is 91.8. The very last one is negative 0.8. So we're looking for the data value that's negative 0.8 standard deviations from the mean. So this time, since it's a negative, it's below the mean. So it's 75 plus negative 0.8 times our standard deviation of 12. So we do 0.8 times 12, we get 9.6. And then we do 75 minus 9.6, and we get 65.4. So our data value that is 0.8 standard deviations below the mean is 65.4.